Now, Padder, the pulley is secured. That'll be your uh, your mast, and the the wire is clamping the uh, the pulley eye. The rope is going through the pulley, and as part of the rope, then I have a, the insulator which can't move. It's just knotted onto the onto the rope. It's a short length of cable, between or short length of wire between the two. Uh, the two insulators and the uh, antenna wire goes through the furthest insulator. I wrapped it through the hole twice to prevent it from from moving. The antenna is slack on the ground now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull on one end of the wire or the, the cord and you can see the antenna there is rising. Hold on a second now. So there we have the antenna now. Uh, the, you have the rope and you have the, uh, the two insulators and the antenna at the end of the furthest one. If I want to lower the antenna, I just let it, let it down or pull on the other side of the rope. And the, the rope is a continuous loop. This is only a short length. But uh, that knot would be down at ground level, so you would have two. Uh, the the amount of rope would be twice the height of the twice the height of the uh, the house, a little bit more to spare. So once again, we have the the pulley attached to the pole, and we have a clamp there. Then we have the uh, the rope through the pulley. And at the end of the rope, or one part of the rope, we have a permanently attached insulator. We've knotted it there around the rope. Then there's another knot leading to another insulator. And the far insulator then has the uh, antenna wire going through it. And I've put it through it twice so that the antenna wire can't move. So once again, here we go. We can higher it or lower it. This is going to higher it. So I'm pulling there. Hold on now. So that's the antenna now fully. Uh, it's, it's only just a few feet above the ground in my place. And then you tie off the end of the, the rope down below uh, to prevent it from, uh, to keep it stable prevent the uh, antenna from raising and lowering itself in the wind. Now to lower it, all I have to do is pull on the other side of the rope. And now the antenna's on the ground. So that's it, I can't make it any clearer than that, uh, Padder, so I hope you understand again. I'll just recap. Pulley with the uh, piece of uh, stay wire through it clamped here so that it can't come off. I don't know what you do at the other end. It's up to yourself there. Something similar to that would be right at the other end. You could have another clamp uh, just there. And then, the, as I said, the far end of the, or one part of the rope has a permanently attached uh, permanently attached uh, insulator, short piece of rope to the second insulator with the antenna wire going through the the, the, the spare hole in the second insulator. I assume that would be your feed point there in your situation. So I hope that makes it clear. I don't think I can make it any clearer and uh, I hope that explains it all. Okay, 7-3.